ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Oregon Trail 2 here on the Lord Master channel. My name is Lord Master or Earl T. Drummond is my real name. Um, let me tell you something. I got something to say about these list of legends here. Let me tell you something, Mary Barlett, Jesse Applegate, Ezra Meeker, Dr. Termy Mike, Thomas Knight, George Washington Bush, Selena Haynes, or Hines, Stephen Meek, Elijah Stevens, and you, Nasty Jack Finley, especially you, Nasty Jack Finley. You think you can upstage me with your um, pomp and circumstance? Well, no more, because Earl T. Drummond is going to make it, and he's going to break it. Wait a minute. Make it or break it? Break what, to be exact? What the hell are you talking about, Lord Master? Well, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. We're going to have a lot of fun here in this uh, edition of the Oregon Trail. But, um... <laughs> but, um... I could say that uh, I got a lot of things to say about my recent experiences over the past three months. Because I had a, quite a busy summer with, you know, some of the other videos that I do, such as, um, you know, such as Europa Versalis 4, a little bit of Syracuse 2, and an occasional GTA 5 Black Widow video, and all that and more. But here, we're back on the Oregon Trail. We're going to be back on the saddle again. Speaking of saddle. No, 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 no. Don't, don't even think about it, Lord Master. Because if you're thinking what I think you're going to do, it ain't going to end well for you. But anyways, let's just get on with the trail right here, right now. I'm a saddle maker who has come to Nauvoo in 1854 for the purpose of setting off on a journey to Jacksonville, Florida? Or is it Oregon? They haven't specifically said it. But anyways, I already bought a uh, Conestoga wagon, but of course we still need to buy all the other supplies and all that good stuff. As we wander the streets in Nauvoo, I see various stores should be able to provide me with supplies, provided I have enough cash. I should also see people who may be able to give me some uh, good advice. Like what? Something about, I don't know. Howdy! Hi. Hey, you looking for a wagon train to hook up with? Our train's still in need of a few more wagons. You want to join us? Uh, maybe, do tell. I'm planning on leaving soon. We're a large group of good, hard-working folks. Well, is there any advice on that? I wouldn't even dream of heading out on the trail alone. Or even with any fewer than ten wagons. The more people you go with, the greater your chances of survival. And that's the gospel truth. Can you imagine traveling alone? Just our wagon, our animals, our six people. Uh, actually, me and five others, I should say. Uh, just out on a lonely trail. Becoming self-reliant. Nobody else around us. And whatever danger we may come across, we will prevail. Yeah, I would like to trade. I got just money, that's all. That's all I got. That's all I have, in fact. Just a wagon and money. That's all the items. I already bought a wagon, but still need supplies. Speaking of which... The merchants here in town offer basic packages of supplies based on the size of one's party and estimated length of journey. Of course, you can shop around on your own or add to the basic set. So, which package would you like? Well, I'm actually going to be lower on this one. It'll be five months. And we know traveling from Nauvoo to Jacksonville, which I think... As far as map is concerned, let me bring it up. We start from here. Distance-wise, I think it is the furthest trail. So we're in for a long one, folks. So, spend sparingly. But the question is, what? The first part you should get is, um... Medicines. I don't, you just just have that hold habit, but I'm not gonna buy any alcohol this time because I don't know what benefits does it bring us out of the morale boost. I mean, I can't assume everything, so I'm being conservative this time in terms of what I'm gonna be spending after the medicine part, of course. Especially rubbing alcohol that's needed when somebody gets a sprain of anything. Less than for the uh, the grip, I think. Or is it magnesia? I keep forgetting. Peppermint's always good. Is it quinine that is cure for malaria? 
I don't know. Err, uh, sense price. Spearmint? What the hell's a spearmint? Um, sulfur. Turpentine, which, you know, that removes paint, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just trying to not spend too much. And if you're gonna need guns and ammunition, you already got a rifle, so... <laughs> so don't spend too much. Oh, and don't forget, rifle or shotgun sheep for prevention of accidental gunshots. Which I don't know if that theory has ever been proven to the test. Especially for someone who is a more experienced organ trail player such as myself, but yet, I mostly do it for fun. But anyways... Infiltrate yeah, the wanted for horse theft. Well, I'm a saddle maker and I make saddles. What else we got here? Russia breaks relations with Britain and France. Based on that year 1854, isn't this a lead into the Crimean War? I don't know. Me being a history buff of all things Europe, Indian subcontinent, and other places, including where I live in Texas. You gotta have canteens. Fishing equipment's always good. And also, you gotta get a couple of hammers. And pickaxes. That's just in case for fallen rocks events. And a shovel. Again, that's all in my head. And since it's still relatively winter, so get the winter clothing. Big Spender Jones, but what do you got? Horses and oxen. Of course, you know, since we bought less supplies and knowing we will run out of them on this long trail, then we have to rely on hunting or other means, so get the chickens for the eggs that they be hatching. They be hatching? Listen to yourself, Earl. On one milk cow and a dozen oxen some money to spare. Okay, fair enough. If there's still room, and there is a lot of it. Oh, I just remembered something else that I like to bring with me. You got any salt? Yes, you do. Because I like salted meat. That's good for the nutrition. It's for nutritional value. Mmm. Oh my goodness, is this really the best you've got? The guy says, hey, I wouldn't leave less than ten wagons. Ah! Look at the temperature. The high is eight and the low is two. How do people survive out there? Well, I'll take... Well, what's the difference? Seventeen wagons except four more guys? Or gals? Or both? <laughs> it seems nobody's in the right mind to come out of there. I gotta go back to town. There's a few things I may need. Oh, um, you got any matches? Because, uh, you know, we're going to be setting fires. <laughs> oh, and a couple of blankets, too. In fact, give me five more, then I should be content with what we got. Oh, and also a little bit of uh, lantern oil. And you got any lanterns? Actually, that's under tools and tinsels. Lanterns. You ain't got no lanterns? Well, I'll purchase. And that guy's gonna be like, Hi, if you're gonna be looking for some lanterns, go to the other store. Okay. Uh, Schmidt and Sons. Hey, Schmidt, it's me again. Uh, you got any lanterns? Lanterns. You know what they are? Thank you, yes. Now, I'm gonna leave. For real this time. And I know he's looking at me waiting patiently. Oh. There is actually one last thing. Wagon covers. I'm not gonna buy any spare parts, because that takes... That, that costs more. And now we can leave for real this time. But I think it would be wise to travel slow. I would normally go, you know, fast paced, but no. Travel slow, and then we'll pick up the pace when the snow thaws and all that. 
Because if he didn't, we're gonna have trouble. And then, uh... Oh, I forgot to introduce you to my party before we get out of here. My name's Earl Drummond. My other party members is Peg Leg, Peg Leg Smith. Peg Leg Smith. Don't forget, you'll forget it. And we got Gregor Blagai. That is a reference to my recent ongoing video series with Europa Versailles for Croatia. One of the Croatian generals named is Gregor Blagai, who was... Um... I don't, I don't know if I got his um, last name right. I'm not talking about the spelling. It's just... Um, I'm just using it on memory, even though I recorded the last episode yesterday. But... He's a, a wildly veteran, I would say. I mean, he really cares for his men. He was a defender and all that. But um, his biggest combat experience to date was that Croatian invasion of India. Yes, you heard that right. Croatia invaded India for for a coastal centers of trade. And he was, out of all the Croatian generals, he was the best. And he was in his 20s at that time. A young, talented general. Even though it was kind of like... Fighting like in the old uh, <laughs> Vietnam War and all that. So, I would have to treat Gregor like he's some crazy, wildly veteran. That he's seen some ch man. Anyways, John Vega, which I have not seen that name in a long time until it was brought up. And we got Ming Elso, which I named him after a... He, a guy who created one of those old blackjack games I used to play on a PC, which I still do, but... It's just I remember the name and stood out. Ming Elso. So I'm not sure what his origins is other than he's just a game developer. I doubt he develops anything today. Or he maybe even not be around it. I don't know. And we got Blank. So he's no name. So we're calling a man with no name, I guess. He or a woman with no name. I mean, we don't even know the gender. So use your imagination, people. Let us continue. Conditions aren't likely to improve anytime soon. We should go ahead and cross the river. Well, it's frozen solid with with the width of it is 5,400 feet. Hopefully, the wagon doesn't blow up. <laughs> it happened to me one time at Red Dead Redemption 2 the other day. I'll tell you in a moment. So far, so good. It's snowing. And of course it's extreme cold. I recommend that we halt the wagon train for a time being and warm ourselves around the campfires. Anybody all right? Yeah, we're all right, so we're gonna continue. Des Moines River. No, this riverbank makes for a good rest in place. Let's rest here a time before crossing. This one's a thousand feet. Didn't break. Ah. Past Eli's Fort, Fox River, which there's a fox up there, coincidentally. Blizzard! Can't make much progress in weather like this. It would be risky to continue until the snow lets up. Well, I hope there ain't, we're not going to be snowbound, otherwise things will get worse for wear. Still cold out, obviously. I told you those winter clothes and the blankets and the matches and lanterns, which lanterns doesn't provide more, but just gives you a little more light. Here we are, Garden Grove Way Station. Don't waste your time on these penny ante stations and trading posts. They got next to nothing. And what they do got, they try to cheat you over. Well, let me tell you something. Those guys in there, they're probably a bunch of hillbillies and heathens. Oh, no, never mind, I take it back. It's just the one I thought it was soon some wise guy. Boots! Why didn't we think about it? We're walking on snow with shoes. We should be wearing boots. Boots protect you from the snow and the mud. Smart! Should have bought it back east. Come on. We're almost past above the freezing line. Keep going. The winter will go away eventually. Snowing again. Degrees, still freezing. Still freezing. Speaking of still freezing. I, I don't, don't see, see how, how we can cross, cross right, right now. now. 
The ice yes, isn't thick enough. enough. Maybe, Maybe we, we can, can break, break through, through the, the ice, ice and then forward or float. I still got it. <laughs> still cold. It's no, everybody's fine. Nobody's here but you. You want to trade? I have cornmeal and other types of food. Perhaps. Tell me more. My name is Naomi. I'm of the Muscutin clan of the Potawatomi. Do you have any advice? I've seen many of your people moving westward on this road. About 50 miles from here is a large town, bigger than this one. If we don't have what you need here, maybe you can find it there. Well, if there's anything that's worth... Maybe just fish because... Oh my goodness, that's a lot of fish. Let me see. Not the rifle, not the lanterns, not the coffee beans. Not the kegs. I don't typically eat crackers much these days, so yeah, go ahead. Quite a trade. Well, Vern, let me tell you something. Did I just say Vern? Oh, hold on. Looks like there's something I did this past summer. As soon as we arrived there. I gotta tell you something while we're in Council Bluffs. I've been told you're looking for a doctor. Uh, no. No, no. No, no, no. No, we aren't. I'll do the best I can. Mind you, I don't have access to all the modern equipment and medicines like the physicians back east. Then what do you treat people with if you don't got the modern equipment? Well, like, if somebody's got gangrene, what do you do? Chop them down with the axe? My goodness. But do you have any advice? If you see any plants with reddish leaves, don't eat them or drink the water nearby. Those red leaves are a good sign of alkali. I'll keep that well in mind, even though it's still cold out. Well, anything else on the news? Any news from the other provinces? Britain, France proclaim alliance with Turks. Things keep escalating over in Europe. It's like, okay, Russia broke relations with them. And he's like, oh, hey, you want to break relations with us? Well, then fine. We're going to ally with Russia's worst enemy, the Ottoman Turks. Yep, that sounds like a lead into the Crimean War. And I don't think we'll be seeing any more news reading the next time we go to a town. Because, well, we're going to Jacksonville, Oregon. Jacksonville, Oregon. South Oregon. And people tell me that South Oregon doesn't exist. Oregon is only up there. Well, those people are wrong. I can tell you that right now. Let me get out in a moment. Anyways, get back in here. Um, right. Apparently he's infamous in these parts. He stole a horse back in Nauvoo, and now apparently he stole a horse here. Hey, if you don't want your horses stolen again, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. You need to lower those prices, because some people just can't afford horses. And he's like, I'll keep that well in mind, sir. Damn right you do. Yeah, earlier I mentioned uh, Vern. I mean... You know what I've been doing the past summer? I've been watching a lot of movies lately. Um, which I've watched, you know... Well, first things first, I was... I don't know if you people remember this, but... Do you remember the name Ernest P. Worrell? Um, Ernest P. Worrell, played by, um... Uh, oh, damn it! Jim Barney, yeah, Jim Barney. Um, who was also the voice of Slinky in the first two Toy Story movies. And, uh, I'm just walking around town. Holy crap, it's Santa Claus. Um, anyways, um, yeah. Because I've watched all of Ernest's movies the past two months. You know, movies like Ernest Goes to Camp, Ernest Saves Christmas, Ernest Goes to Jail, uh, Ernest Scared Stupid, Ernest Rides Again, um, Ernest Goes to School, Slam Dunk Ernest, Ernest Goes to Africa, and Ernest in the Army. Yep, these are all of his uh, full-length movies. The last four were direct-to-videos. 
Yeah, I've watched them all. But if you were to tell me which for one of these Ernest movies is your favorite, Lord Master, I would say Ernest Goes to Jail because, I don't know, Jim Barney with his double roll and all that. I mean, I could be spending a whole video talking about Ernest. But, and if people were to ask me the question, if there is one celebrity that you would like to resurrect from the dead and wishes to, you know, go back to do all those roles again, like, like, which celebrity would you, or dead celebrity would you like to be die? If we're come back to life and all that. I would say Jim Barney. <laughs> Again, born in 92, so I'm pretty old school. Can you imagine people, can you people imagine if there was a Ernest goes to Oregon? Ernest in the Oregon Trail? I thought about naming one of the party members Ernest, but I don't think I would do it much justice, honestly, because there's only one Ernest and one Jim Barney. Heck, even people think of John Cena should play as uh, Ernest because he kind of looks like him. Another cussed frozen river to cross. Good day to you folks. My name is Philip Maddox. I'm an artist with this surveying expedition. Howdy. The U.S. government has commissioned us to map the land and to bring back some illustrations of the Indians as well as the plant and animal life hereabouts. So, the government sent you to, sur uh, to map the land. Well, let me tell you what the land looks like. Snow and ice. There's nothing to see. Go back home and tell the government to say, Hey, the West is frozen. Don't colonize over there. Don't send settlers over there. There's no reason to be. The Oregon Trail is frozen for, for life. Don't you know it's the 1850s? At that time, historic. No, that was the 1650s. That's when the little ice age occurred. Damn it, Lord Master. Anyways, you have any advice? Check your supplies often. Can't stress too much the importance of that. And don't waste a whole lot of time hunting. At least if it isn't an emergency, you won't get much, you'll delay your progress, and you risk antagonizing the local Indians. Delay my progress? This is why we left early in March. Nothing's going to be delayed. See what I mean? You know what I mean? As Ernest would say. Nasty Jack Finley, wanted for the crime of murder. Yeah, the man who's ranked number one on the list of legends here. Yep, Nasty Jack Finley. And he's like, <laughs> you think you could beat me? You think you're better than me? Just try me. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, one sec. I thought I saw someone. Oh well. Say, you're not from around here, are you? Nope. Oh, I bet you're with that wagon train that's passing through. You folks are more than welcome to stock up on supplies here. Do you have any advice? Because you got one hell of a mustache. Watch yourself in these parts. Not everyone's as friendly as I am. Dr. Estes G. Probe. Howdy. I'm Duncan Gipps, one of the few physicians you're liable to find twixt here in the Great Salt Lake. I guess Dr. Probe have a day I had a day off. If you people are in need of a doctor, I'll be glad to help. No, we're still fine. Whatever you do, don't take that road they call a Hastings Cutoff. Ain't been nothing but death and misery for everyone who's traveled it. <laughs> I always laugh at that part because Hastings Cutoff isn't as bad as people think it is. We need more pickaxes in case of fallen rocks in the future. And for God's sake, save the money. Wait a minute. Mr. Divine? Mr. Divine? Barbershop? So that means... Hey! Hey, uh, Dr. Um, Divine? Are you gonna give me the Divine Intervention? <laughs> My goodness. That is very... Heresy to say such things like that, Lord Master. Well, that depends on who you believe, of course. I'm Natalia Nyasnyakovic. My family is going to the big valley in the west, where there is so much good land. Ah, uh, howdy. We are from St. Petersburg. We have many great mountains in Russia, but not near where we live. 
I have never seen such mountains as the ones here in America. I haven't seen any mountains yet. Have I? The next hills or mountains we come to, we will share with another wagon to do what they call double teaming animals. Maybe that will work well for you. Huh. Any, anything interesting to trade? Russian immigrants. Yeah. A hat! Huh? Got a lot of hats. Well, I need, need one hat to get that off. How does the chicken equate to a hat? Just bought that chain, don't need to do that. Ah, here's the cornmeal, here you go. Russians. That reminds me of something else regarding, it's like, yeah, besides the earnest movies that I've watched, um, I've, um, also watched, What? um, Stop and rest in this here freezing weather? Heck, if you ask me, we better keep moving. I've also watched, um, other notable movies such as Black Widow. Yes, I watched that Black Widow movie, um, which makes it the very first MCU movie I've ever watched. Yes, I missed out on all the other ones, only because I'm a very busy person, you see. Howdy. Howdy. Yeah. Why do you bother me? I don't want to trade. The things we get from the white travelers don't make up for all that we lose. Tell me more. We didn't know the whooping cough, measles, or smallpox until your people brought them to us. Our medicine cannot cure these strange diseases, and our children are dying. Oh god, is there any advice? No! I just want you to leave us alone! That's the first time I've been refused of advice, but no need to, no need to dwell on that. Oh, just give me a moment as soon as we arrive in this here river, which is also frozen still. Well, I ought to be careful because if you cross ice, this is at the temperature where it could break and then we would fall into the water. So you may want to wait one day for this. We've rested a day and the temperatures remained unchanged. Well, ain't that grand. I think we should cross the river now. I'm starting to think so. And somehow the ice has held. I think we may have to pick up the pace soon. As soon as we arrive at the next landmark. Anyways, I said that, yes, I did watch the Black Widow movie earlier. Pick up the pace. No snow's melted. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what led to a bit of a more interest into that sort of topic. Including one time later around the month of July when we had a, uh, not a power outage, but an internet outage. Where, um, an errant lightning strike killed the, uh, the... The modem of the internet. We thought it was the router, but it was the modem. So we didn't have internet for like five days. Six to five days. Five to six days around there. Howdy. Name's Jubilation Higginbottom. If that's too much a mouthful, you can call me Julie. And I don't want to hear any smart cracks about that neither. I'm a prospector, but I'm just coming to the realization that there ain't too much around here worth prospecting. So I think I'll move on. Don't need to hear your advice, but it says I'll think you move on, so therefore you can move on. While the internet was out, I still did my video recordings because the games did not require a connection. I also watched a bunch of movies while the internet was out. Movies like Captain America Civil War, which my brother recommended me when we watched, we did a watch along together. Because it told me out of all the MCU films, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it was, this one's his personal favorite because it had a lot of heart to it, so to speak. And I get what he means. We've also rewatched the Star Wars sequel trilogy, also Rogue One, Solo, even watched Sniper, you know, the one with Tom Berenger, and Sniper 2. And I even watched Suburban Commando, you know, starring Hulk Hogan, just for, I don't know. And also on television on AMC watched Live Free or Die Hard, um, which was just a little over the top for me in that kind of action. Animals exhausted. Push! I pushed him. We can continue at a slower pace, and the people with the injured animal can unhitch it and see if it can keep up. 
like, if I know what that guy is, he, like, he's just shaking his head, he's like, why don't you do something about it? Go do something with your life, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's slow down, because if you try to... I think we ought to go up to him and say howdy. They may be in need of help, or they may be able to help us. Weren't you the guy that was sitting down next to the oxen? Because you look like him. Yeah. You say you want to go up to him and say Could howdy? Could you good people please help us? Oh, it's you again. What is it? We are in dire need. We have nearly no more supplies and would be grateful for some help. Accent still retained in case you haven't noticed. We would be very appreciative of anything you can do for us. Well, generosity does run in a family. Spare ox yoke. May need it. Well, winter is practically over, so you can have a winter coat. Is that what you need? A coat? Again, if you don't offer them something, to me, I think that increases the chance of your supplies being stolen. A theft, so to speak. Oh, what else happened? Um, oh yeah, the other day, um, I can't remember the guy or the girl's name, but they had a new single out, a new record out. It went plywood. Wait! Turn around! I could have sworn I thought he was here. Anyways, let's hunt for the first time. We haven't tipped over, haven't lost any supplies of any significance, but... Son of a... Two make do. There. 102 pounds. No, dummy! Turn around! No, I guess he's not here. It was running out of the Lakota who who was supposed to be around. He'll tell you about the, the you know, the great spirit thing. Or is that on the other place? I don't know. I remember that conversation. Holy crud. Well, what have we here? Some more eastern greenhorns trying their luck at crossing the wilderness. Let me tell you something. I ain't got to say nothing to you if I don't want to. Do you have any advice? None that I'm prepared to offer you. Guy's got a Bowie knife, so I suggest you, 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 you get away from him. <sighs> Stammering like hell. Okay, what else do I have on my mind? Oh yeah, earlier this morning, before I uh, recorded the day, a song was playing in my head when I woke up. The song I woke up to was "Rock You Like a Hurricane" by the Scorpions. I think. I think that was the band that was that did that song. <laughs> it's just. My eyes, as soon as my eyes opened, waking up, I, I like, as soon as my eyes opened, it just went, Here I am! <laughs> Hell of a timing. <laughs> but, <laughs> calm down, will ya? I am Inuna Ina, whom you call the Arapaho. My name is Green Eyes. Our chief is talks to the coyote. He doesn't know your language, so he will speak through me. My father was a white man. Tell me. Fox to the coyote says that you are crossing the land of the Inuna Ina. You should offer gifts for this privilege. Act as though you want to trade, but ask for nothing in return. Vice. I suggest you offer gifts. Fox to the coyote is a powerful man. He can be a strong friend or a strong enemy. Friendship with the Arapaho can be a great advantage to you. On the next leg of your journey. Oh. You better offer him something good. Can you imagine offering the chief a rifle? And he's like, ah, oh, rifle. But where's the gunpowder? Where's the, the bullets? Here's another winter coat. Winter coats are a luxury, you know? In addition to being protective clothing from the elements. What else do I have in my mind? Oh, prior to waking up, I also had this scary-ass nightmare, or bad dream, whatever. It was what I would like to call the evil gopher dream. And this was... Oh, it, it's because it moved fast. The evil gopher moved fast, and because well, I was walking outside, minding my own business. Then, when the time came, uh, then out comes this evil gopher, which is unseen because he moved so damn fast. And I had to run to the house and shut the doors fast! And I 
think I found out what reminded me of that evil gopher dream. On the same day as when we had that internet outage, early in the afternoon, me and my brother uh, were watching um, Alien 3, I think that's what the movie is. There was that scene where they, these guys had to, uh, you know, it's like, okay, we gotta shut the doors fast so we can, you know, trap that alien in there. <laughs> and, of course, they had to be coordinated and all that. That's what led me to that evil gopher dream. Can you believe it that July is the same month that I watched Black Widow, The Earnest Movies, and uh, all the other films that I just mentioned? July was an eventful month. <laughs> Sit up! Oh, it's John Vega. It better take care of themselves. Bad colds can easily turn into something much worse. Don't worry, got a minister olive oil. Yes, sir. Fine scenery around these parts. Yeah, it's a fine scenery, all right. It's a fine scenery for death. Boom! I need something else. Don't go shooting willy-nilly, remember that. You only bought yourself a limited supply of bullets because you you are a freaking saddle maker. Even though people would tell you, you're a wizard, Harry, but they say, you're a saddle maker, Earl. You're not a gunsmith, you're a saddle smith, saddle maker. Saddle smith. <laughs> Holy Christmas, look. Bison! All you need is one. The gods be praised and it's rainy. Let's keep going. Oh, what the hell was that? Did you say that? I suggest we take the ferry. That's the safest way. You sure about that? Anyone else? This river doesn't look too deep. Let's ford it. Well, the money we have is $120. And, um, you know we'll be spending sparingly. Would you say it's a fairly ordinary river? Well, we'll ford it then. For free. It would have been funny had the wagon got stuck in the mud and I would have been super pissed. Well, not that pissed. If it's stuck, I'd be super pissed, but no. No, it ain't. Uh, what else do I have in my mind? Um, I mentioned earlier about a wagon blowing up. Me and my friend from Xbox Live, um, well, I'll just call him his name, uh, Rage Bullet. Um, shout out to you if you're watching this. Um, we did this one mission, uh, it's one of those newer missions they added on, uh, recent update on Red Dead. Blood money missions, yeah, yeah. Blood money, getting Capitale and all that. Um, uh, and, uh, <laughs> We were driving this wagon, I mean, I mean, I don't know who was driving or who was shooting, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> because when we were getting away from the bad guys, and our wagon was packed with explosives um, back there. And we, and we both assumed that they're never going to hit the explosives, because I don't think enemy bullets has ever done that. I thought, we players are the only ones that could shoot the explosive barrels that are on our boxes, crates, on our wagon. And then when the enemy bullet hit... The wagon blew up. I thought we failed the mission. We both died. When we respawned, and we returned to that wagon, and we were surprised to find out it's still drivable. So, the wagon blew up, and we kept driving it, and it was missing a wheel. So it was driving like a rickety, rocket pattern on that wagon, and the horses were still alive. We still worked. We still shoot the guys who are chasing us, and we made it to the, uh, the objective. Made it to the end point. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. You got anything good in there? No, not spices, medicine. You know what? For Peg Lake Smith, Smith Peg Lake, Peg Lake Smith's sake. Peg Smith Lake. Smith Lake Peg. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, you still got the bad cold, John Vega? 
tell me someone in this wagon train is looking for a doctor. Is that true? Maybe. Perhaps. Well, to be honest with you, I haven't been in regular practice for a number of years. But I'll be right pleased to do what I can. And what do you do for a living if you haven't done it for years? Next time you get to a town with a decent pharmacist, you might want to stock up on some basic medicines. Of course, you might have a pretty good supply already. That's why I buy medicines. It'd be a tragedy not to. Just for seeing that animals there. That... Oh god, we lost the milk cow. It died on, on the way. So, but do we have... The question is, do we have eggs? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we do. And how much of that salted meat did I just see? You're in good supply. So, whiskey. Ever made moonshine, fellas? And then Peg Lake's never be like, Moonshine? I know how to make moonshine. Especially that that you make it so strong that once you drink it, you'll be like, Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, that'll split your goddamn pancreas in half. <laughs> Again, Batman. He is smarter than a tree full of owls, I, let me tell you. <sighs> Register clip. I dread the name that I see. Time is a wasting. Let's get out. No, I cannot. I think it's time we be moving on now. No, I can't. Let's keep going. No, I can't. You must hunt. It's a tradition here on the Lord Master Channel where every time we hunt at Register Cliff, for some inane reason, it's an increased chance of getting animal bites or mauls or even accidental gunshots. I mean, it can happen in any location in the game, but for me here, I just have, you know, bad luck in the past. Even though I don't think I ever had an accidental gunshot or animal mauling for years, ever since I've been recording these videos here and all that. But man, look at the great glue, great, I was about to say glue sky. Ah. Oh. Oh, bear, 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 bear. Yeah. He ain't gonna be a problem no more. You may want to hunt one more, because sometimes you get small bears. Hmm. Oh, look, another bear. They're big as oxen. They're twice as smart. In other words, they're dumbasses. I think that's enough. Yeah, yeah, that's a little more than enough. No mauling here, thank God. Because, you know, the horribleness and awfulness that would have occurred here if I got myself shot or injured or worse. Things would have been... I don't know. Just don't know. Ah, more wagon people. Are you here to slaughter more buffalo like the group that passed by four days ago? No, no I didn't. The conversation would be a lot funnier have I done a buffalo stampede uh, hunting section earlier, but it did not happen, so... Suck it to me. I've never seen such waste. They killed ten times what they needed for food and left most of the carcasses to rot. Luckily, after the coyotes had finished with them, we gathered the bones to make tools. You see, Earl, you should be killing less animals. Just kill one and you'll get the meat that you want. If you must kill for food, good. But don't kill any more than that. The well-being of our people depends on the buffalo. No, don't have time to trade now. I think we wasted enough time in this video regarding trading. What the hell kind of price is that for a toll bridge? Who's in charge of this? Bullshit bridge. What are we waiting for? No. I'm gonna be resting here a bit till that guy comes out here. Are you in charge? Take the toll bridge, of course. No. I am waiting for the manager to come here. Well, after this here crossing, it's goodbye Platte River. Goodbye Sand Hills and Buffalo Skulls. According to my guidebook, now we've climbed the Sweetwater Valley to cross the Continental Divide at South Pass. Once across the Rockies, we'll make a steep descent into the Green River Valley. 
Land gets drier the further west we go, but as long as we stay close to the rivers, we ain't got too much to worry about, at least not regarding water. Hey, you got any spare bullets? How many boxes you got? Two? Okay. Okay. Ha! Reduce the number of coffee beans. Not too fun of cornmeal myself, I don't even... I'll cock it. Pretty tranquil, my ass! I knew we shouldn't have been going so fast through this kind of terrain. The river looked pretty tranquil, but apparently the reason why we tipped over into that, I think the wind picked up. Because I remember that one conversation in one other video that says, We ought to take the covers off before we cross the wagons. There's a touch of wind today. You know, the wind's going to pick up the covers and gonna tip it right over in the water. <laughs> and I gave him advice and he's like, Ain't you got no ears? <laughs> but hey, nobody drowned. Oh, I know why the wind picked up. The rain just came here. What did I tell you? Let's get indoors. You didn't lose your rifle. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you telling me that in this here trading post that you sell guns but you sell no bullets? Uh, and it's like, like if some customer's like, hey, I need some gunpowder and I need some bullets. My wagon just got tipped off. And he's like, uh, and, he's, and he, he being him, is like, uh, we don't sell guns around. I mean, we do sell. I already ruined it. Damn it. Check again. Oh, what is that I see there? I see gunpowder. You got shot. Change the stock. I shake my head at you. It's like we sell guns, but we don't sell bullets. And you, apparently you kept the gunpowder hidden, but I caught you. You fraud. You're a fraud, you know that? This may be our, our last, last chance, chance for a while to buy or trade, trade for supplies. <laughs> I got another thing to say here. Because if I see another... If I go to another training post and if that guy were to try to rip me again... Well, let me tell you one thing. Now, on this very earth, I'm gonna whoop him from the east coast to the west coast. From downtown to Chinatown. And I'm gonna tell you another thing. Because I'm gonna put that head where the moon sun doesn't shine very well. Yeah. That's a threat. Otherwise... You know, a man like, uh, Gregor Blagai, he, he'll be like, uh, he's like, I don't buy it. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, you're selling wolf tickets. You're crying wolf. <laughs> Land sakes, the trail round through here looks like it was hit by a tornado. Really? Bits of stuff scattered all about the place. There's food tins, cast off furniture, and goods of all descriptions. Actually, hold that thought. You know what's another thing that this land's gonna have? Besides, you know, all the garbage, cast out, tossed out furniture. You know what else that the land is gonna be riddled with? I mean, not bullet holes because, you know, the ground covers it. It's gonna be riddled with, riddled, <laughs> God bless it. There. It'll be littered with dead animals. And a few pivots. Divots. Or whatever they that term that they use in golf. Does golf exist in the 1800s? What the? That's the world's... Sm I think I killed a child deer. I don't know why I just thought of it just now. It's like 19 pound deer. You apparently killed a juvenile deer. And for some reason I just had a... A, a thing imagine in my head where you get a pop-up event of mauled by an animal. It doesn't say you've been mauled by a lion or a bear. You've been mauled by an angry ass deer. <laughs> I'm like, if that were happening, I'd be like, yeah, I think I deserve that. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it'll be like the Cougamonga kids. You know, those guys. 
that they'll come from out of nowhere and give me the heebie-jeebies. Don't ask what do you what do I mean by that? Hey there. Say, guess what? I don't know. Tell me. Carve my name way up the side of Independence Rock, near the top. There are hundreds of names up there. The oldest ones were carved by mountain men and explorers. Famous names like Fremont, Bonneville, and DeSmet. Huh. Yeah, go on up and carve your own name. Be ashamed to come all this way and not do it. Well, I would write my own name, but here's the problem. It's raining. If I try to write it on chalk, the rain is going to wash it all away. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> so, even if I were to do that, it wouldn't matter. Passing through Devil's Gate. 1,000 miles traveled. Here's another place that I like to go hunting frequently, and that's Split Rock. If it was the Oregon Trail 5th edition that I used to play, but I can't play on this here computer, because we don't have the thing where you can insert the CD in and, and get it running and whatnot. What? Oh yeah, this goof again. Howdy, we're having to lighten the load on our wagon. You're dumping stuff here? I've carried my mother's framed mirror all the way from home. It's with great effort that I cast off this last gentle reminder of the dear friends and family I've left behind. But our success in reaching the end of the trail is of greater import. Mm. Son, save to do whatever you can to make the work on your animals a little easier. Lighten your load, rest them often, take good care of them. If you lose your animals, you're in danger of losing your life. Like how... How many lives were lost during the Croatian invasion of India? Just to... Well, to be fair, I mean... I said this once in the UFO video, and I think it's rather morbid now. I'm just going to say this very briefly before we continue on. A lot of these men that died over there, they didn't die for their country. They died for a company. A trading company. The East... The Croatian East India Trade Company. You can find out all more than that for those if you want to check out the Euro vs. 4 Croatia series with, with all these later episodes that I'll be posting. The series is still ongoing and it will likely end either on late September or early October. Just a little small advertisement. Now let's go hunting. Because I need to get myself into a better mood. I almost said... What? A buffalo out here? Two of them. Three of them. How many more? Oh, he's looking at me suspiciously. Four. I'm going to take my time. Is that all? Four. Buffalo. One, two, three, four. All you need is one. Don't waste any more bullets. And whatever that remains is just going to be left out. Oh boy. Okay, I need you people to decide. Start from scratch. It don't matter to me which way we go. Long as it's going west. Undecided. I wouldn't want to have to cross this river any more than I have to. Especially with the trail as rough as it is around here. Undecided. On the deep sands route, the sand is thick and heavy, and wagons can get bogged down in it. Why, I even hear it can turn to quicksand after heavy rains. I say undecided, because... Oh, God, you guys. Okay, I'm glad this coin was with me on this desk for the past three months since it was last used. This is how we do it around here, including for the new viewers who has probably never seen an Oregon Trail video before from me. This is how the rules go. I have this quarter here. That's my quarter. Um, I do heads and tails, best two out of three. So, heads, deep sand, tails, three crossings. It'll be legitimate. I'm not going to bullshit you. So, best two out of three. Flip. No! Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I just took off my headset briefly. I thought it was going to roll under my bed, which I'm like, no, don't lose that. But it was tails, so that was one for three crossings route. Here's flip number two. Um, 
God dang. Well, it's tails again, so three crossings. Right! It is, I almost just tripped on my way back to my seat. <laughs> I'm wearing new shoes also, so I'm trying to get used to them. We must look a sight. We've been fighting the mud so hard, I suspect even the mud's gotten tired. Good. Let's ford it, if the mud is tired, indeed. Here's a second river crossing. It's also fairly ordinary of two feet. I don't like the looks of the river right now. Let's wait before crossing. What are you, superstitious? Ford it. And here's the third one. Fairly ordinary, also two feet. The river don't look so bad. But there's more than a few graves around here. Tells me there's been some drownings. Either that or the cholera. Dead people nearby the river? Ford it! See? We made it. What the hell are y'all people talking about? Alright. So, ice spring slow. Well, have you ever seen anything like this before in your life? What do you mean? Why, they said that if you dig a shallow hole round here, you'll strike freshwater ice. And here it is, just like they said it'd be. Imagine that. Cool ice, out here in the middle of this barren wasteland. Well, can you make it into ice cubes? Get a bucket and get some ice for yourself. I can't wait to get back to my wagon, show this to the others, and write about it in my diary. Either that, or we'd just be back in that river beating up the mud, you know, yeah. We're gonna beat up that mud, beat that up all the live long day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute, did I just turn that around? I didn't mean to do that. God dang it, Lord Master. Oh, this is terrible timing. The hill is muddy and it's fairly steep. Wait one day. We'll use rope or chains. Well, we made it up. Lander trading post. Hey, wise guy. Well, I don't mind taking a short break from this work. Suck it to me, man. Suck it to me is another way of saying tell me more. People hardly use that phrase today, but I heard it the other day, and I kind of want to use that here. You know, Mr. Lander's got some grand schemes. He wants to cut a new road between here and Fort Hall. Shave quite a few miles off the trail. Plans to start working on it soon. Ah, yes. The land are cut off. Where the water is poisonous and everything goes to... At the Green River, you may see some Indians milling about. But don't worry about them. They's Shoshone. And they's right pleased to help emigrants cross the river. Especially if you're willing to trade with them before or after. There, what does this training post have? You better sell ammo. Damn right you do. I'm just browsing, not actually gonna buy anything. Unless Pig Lake Smith's gonna be drinking again. <laughs> Can you imagine if there was a building right next to a training post? That would basically look like a house, and then you get a house and another house. Otherwise, I'll be like. Hey, there's a wolverine running loose, running loose around here, and I can tell you that it ain't my neighbor. Whatever the hell that means. Pretty tranquil for a, for a rainy condition. Well, I don't know about that. What do you think? Conditions aren't likely to improve any. Yeah, go to bed. Still muddy. Shit! That scared me. If you miss that bear, there's an increased chance you get mauled by one. I mean, I don't know the chances. I'm sure some of you people... Um, of anybody who has thousands of hours playing Oregon Trail in their life, like me. Who's played thousands of hours in this game. Like, is there ever an increased chance of getting mauled by an animal? Like, say, if you're hunt you see a bear, and then you miss a shot, and you didn't reload your weapon... And then you go leave your wagon, then you get mauled. Is there anything like that? 
um, do leave a comment if you have this theory proven or whatnot. It's amazing that you could still learn a few things from it. Oh, by the way, this is bad water here. Bad, bad water. Anybody who drinks that is going to have the hibbit jeebus, as Peg Lake Smith would say. It's Fort Bridger. We're going to Jacksonville, so you got to go through there first. Unless I get bored with Oh, I don't know about this, but... Good day to you folks. My oh, not this goof. Can we just give it a rest a little? A little tricky is slightly better than maybe difficult. I think we should hire someone to help us across. I don't know, what do you prefer? Five dollars or give him a winter coat? Winter coat is the answer. They know the river better than we do. Still rainy. Still not. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, crud, that man. Uh, yeah, that balding guy always have issues with him. Because, you know, many of you have probably seen my past videos. You know what that guy's like. Do you sell idle guns or bullets here? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Of course it is. It's a fort. They have everything here. Awful lot of gunpowder. Maybe it's just to supply the troops of this, uh, here fort. For continuous fire while you're not, you know. You don't need know the reloading procedures of... ...of the weapons of yesteryear. Before you even... How many meat do we have? Ha! <laughs> we are definitely self-reliant. Well, I'm not gonna buy anything from you, so don't even speak. I ain't got time for that honky donkey. Honky donkey? What's, what's a good use for an anvil? Other than it's definitely gonna weigh you down. Let me show you. Oh, an anvil weighs a hundred. Why don't I'm taking that anvil with me? Because raisins. I mean reasons. Holy crud, I thought it was a honey badger. Because, you know, the, the, the honey badgers in America. Can you imagine that? I'm going to St. Louis to have me a look at civilization. Yeah. Not gonna spend any more money on fairies or whatnot. What? Hello! Thank you, that's what you were trying to say. Hello! What happens if I were to fire a weapon in this here echo? Nothing. Can you imagine all that gunfire echoing throughout? Scary as... Why can't I hit a bird? Still can't I hit a bird. Oh, damn it, that's above the head. Headshot! Hello! Hello. Ah, that, that startled me, actually. <laughs> I guess for some reason, I just had this image of that woman saying hello, and then the image of a bear pops up with its paws above his head, like, roar! Like, oh, and then it would have said, Earl Drummond got scared. <laughs> Keep it up like that. I think you're going to make that come true. I'm not talking about just hunting here constantly, 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 but it's just more of a, I don't know. It reminded me of this one thing that has nothing to do with anything, such as a world's strongest man competition I was watching the other day. And I'm like, what? It's like they can do toss things, like how the Scots used to do when they toss things. You know what I would like to see in a World's Strongest Man competition? Propane tossing. Yeah, toss uh, all that 
you know, toss that container that's fully filled with protein. You just toss it like a big weight. So I can imagine the guy who, who would toss the thing and be like, Rrr! and then it goes far. And then when it lands, and then it explodes like, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> I just imagined that just now. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, Corian! Hello, 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 hello. Alright, stop fooling around. What are we waiting for? I don't think I was wise. You dummy! That's one and one half feet. Conk in a wagon to float this. You're gonna get it stuck, you dummy. I suggest you borrow some animals from someone and then double team your wagon. That should enable you to pull out of the mud. Yeah, that was stupid of me. You delayed the progress. Oh, come on. How long has that been there? Holy moly! Looks like there was an avalanche. I don't see how we can clear that up. Let's find another way. I suggest we continue over the obstruction. See? It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that big of a deal. Hogsback Summit. Every time I see them out there, I, and that name Hogsback, I just think of a hog. A pig, you know? Top of the day to you, friend. Name's Casey O'Neill, late of County Clare in Old Ireland. Since when did you turn Irish? I mean, you, the guy looked familiar, and then you see him in that get up. All my relations said that the only place in the world for a young man to go to make his way nowadays is America. So I booked my passage, and now here I am, on my way to an unspoiled land, <laughs> ready for enterprise. Yeah, what do you mean? I just sound something funny. You've heard it said that there are many cutoffs to take to shorten this journey. That by taking all the shortcuts, you can save many days on the trail. And why not? Saving time and provisions is worth the risk. I got, I'm not interested right now. Oh, well, let me tell you. Tells me that one time that I guinea pigged my mother in law. Yeah, old mother in law jokes. Ain't that something? That's how old school I am. Mother in law jokes. Remember that word thing? Hmm. Let's continue. Dick say hello. Dun dun dun. What the hell are you saying? I'm surprised hardly anybody has got sick in this trail. If this was the 5th edition of Orgatra, I'd like to give everybody food poisoning on purpose for the funsies. Well, what have we here? Little Dutch Hollow. Dixie and Little Dutch. I don't think you should be doing it. Well, it wasn't rough trail, so it's fine. Crossing the path in rough trail while there's heavy fog, you are more liable to tip over that wagon. Mercy, have you ever been through anything like these canyons? Most rugged trail we've seen yet. Uh-huh. They're surely being tried and tested. I can only pray that we're up to the challenge. I don't know who's God you pray, but do you have any advice? It would be foolish to push ourselves too hard at this point. Even going slow, our wagons and poor animals are taking quite a licking. Would you like the coat? No, keep it for the very essentials. Big mountain descent. Drop that guitar and help me. And here's the little mountain. Big mountain, a little mountain. Good day to you. If you don't mind, I'll stop and rest a spell. Hold it. We set out on the trail a while back, hoping to reach the new land. But as you may know, my oldest boy perished in a wagon accident back a ways. And I've no greater desire now than to return to my folks back in Philadelphia. Mm. Be very, very careful going down steep hills. That's how my son was killed. We didn't take the proper precautions and, well, forgive me, but I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. Yeah. Quarantine station. Well, glad nobody's sick here. 
ain't feeling so tired. Those folks whining about wanting to rest are just a bunch of crybabies. I think it's time we... Let's stop here a while and rest. This is a good place to rest for a while. There's lots of good water here. By good water, you mean in one of these buildings that they provide good water? Is there a river nearby? I don't think there is such thing as running water. I say we continue on our way. We shall. If you start in an earlier timeline in the Oregon Trail, you would be crossing this very, very steep hill downwards. Which is a scary thought when you think about that. Here we are Salt Lake City. Welcome to Great Salt Lake City, friends. My name is Augustus Parkinson. Come on into town and renew yourselves. Tell me about this city. Not only is this a fine place to restock your provisions and obtain the help and sustenance you need, but it's also a major crossroads on the trails. Roads to Oregon, California, and back east branch off from here. Awesome. We do a thrive and trade in draft animals here. Before you continue on the trail, you might seriously consider trading in your tired, worn out animals and getting some fresh ones for the remainder of your journey. You got it. Boston Organization Supports Anti-Slavery anti Kansas Settlers. Well, I want to know what the hell's going on over in Europe. Everybody's mad at me. I understand you folks are in need of a doctor. No, no, no. Everybody's healthy. Well, I'll take a look at the patient and see if there's anything I can do to help. I said no. Nobody's sick. You don't need to look at anyone. Eat well, drink lots of fluids, and get plenty of rest. Best advice anyone can give. That remains true to this day. Hey, watch where you're going. What do you think? You own the place? You damn right I do. You're one of them immigrants going out west on the trail, ain't you? Mm -mm. You just watch your step around here. I ain't the only one who don't take kindly to careless strangers. Is that why you have your knife brandishing out? Out in public? Look, everyone, there's a man who's got a knife out in public. Hey, hey, officer, this man is threatening me. Pardon me, folks. I was wondering whether you've seen this character. Nasty Jack Finley? He's a cattle rustler, horse thief, and all-round troublemaker. Yeah, I know about him. He's even been rumored to kill a man. Though ain't no proof of it, yet. But he's due for a hanging, that's for sure. Ain't no proof of a killing, but the wanted sign says he was wanted for murder. I'd recommend you steer clear of him. He can be a mean one. And if you see him, notify the local authorities as quick as you can. Well, good day to you. He is a legend after all. <laughs> What if? Hey, watch where Shut you're up. going. What do you think? Quit you talking. The place? What if he is Nasty Jack Finley? Picture him with a beard. Okay? Just try to visualize it a bit. Compared to that wanted poster. What if he was Nasty Jack Finley all along and we didn't know it after all these years? Wow, lower price on horses? Yeah, give me a moment. Need to look at somewhere else. Ah! This freaking page is a scary man. I tell you. You see that sign over there? EJ Ford Library Corporation. That's the horse thief. That's the horse thief you're looking for, gentlemen. I don't want to be in this town anymore. This is a pretty shady place to be here. It gets there he is again. Whichever way we go, the trail gets rougher than ever. I suggest we stop and rest here a while before moving on. No, I can't rest here. This place is going to drive me nuts if I stay here longer. Remember, we still got Jacksonville to go. We still got a long way to go on this trail in this episode, this video. Okay, we're going to the Sud Lake Cutoff. Um, a little earlier I had a bit of recording, but it, it froze a bit because I was looking at a guidebook on the Salt Lake Cutoff, so 
It's best not to do that again. In fact, let me show it to you. In case that this were to happen again. See? Just a demonstration. So now we went back in time. So let's go to Solid Cutoff and don't ever look at the guidebook ever again. Anyways. Hey there. You reckon you folks want I should take you across the river, huh? How much? Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Um, hold on. I, I still can't hear you. I got my ears open. How much is it? Five dollars. Five dollars. I advise. No. No? No. I never had this conversation before. Oh, oh my god, Lord Master. Are you serious to think about this? Um... Think of me, think of me, he's like it's a fortune teller. Um, will I ever find, um, will ever I, will ever I get to Jacksonville, Oregon? No! Okay, um, do you think any of our party members will die? No! Do you think we might get tipped over on this river? No! Okay, that's all I need to know. No! <laughs> Never had this conversation before. Well, to be fair, I hardly ever go through the Salt Lake Cutoff because I prefer Hastings Cutoff. I should go to here more often. Five dollars. No. Wow. It's a beauty. Is there any other people who runs ferries around here? Are you the guy who runs the ferry? Howdy, people. You ready to cross the river? Well, how much is it? It says you got three dollars. Three dollars. Not a bad price. Mm-hmm. Advice? I'm the best ferry operator this side of Missouri. Trust me to get you across safe and sound. This side of Missouri? Oh, oh well, well, whatever. But... Still triggered, but I'd take my chances. I don't need to cross no ferry. Now, here's my lad, River. Another tricky river to cross, of course. Don't recognize any characters. That would be the owner of the ferry. Oh, keep going. I Oh, by the way, before that first recording crash, before I give you that little demonstration, there was someone here. As you wait... BAM! Reload. Accidental gunshot time. Nope. <laughs> I know there's someone here. I'll be waiting till I'm bloody old man until that person gets here. I know there is someone here. I'm not crazy. I know who the character is. And it's a familiar face. Not the guy with the knife. Oh, I mean, oh, good God. Can you imagine a guy with the knife running a toll bridge? And he's like... He, he threads you tonight. He says, you better pay up and you better cross that damn bridge. <laughs> can you imagine that? You've been saying you can imagine that a lot, have you? Give me a moment. There's the person I'm looking for. I had to reload and save the game. Uh, and then, uh, well, I saved the game and then reload a couple of times. There's the one I'm looking for. Also, never heard before conversation in this recording, in any of my Lord videos. Folks fixing to cross the river? Here, let me take you across on the ferry. That's a bridge, ma'am. Not a ferry. But anyways, how much does it cost? My price is reasonable. Just a dollar and a half. Hey, what's the matter? Ain't you never seen a woman running a ferry before? I've taken hundreds of people across, as good as any man. Ma'am... What does being female, uh, uh, you never seen a woman run, uh, does being wanted to do anything? I'm just trying to tell you, that's a toll bridge, not a ferry. I'm just trying to be correct with you. Do you have any advice? Yeah, I do. The trail hereabouts is right rough. You take it easy. You know them animals here and look like they could use a rest. Yeah. They've already been well rested a couple of times because we were just waiting because we ain't going to cross anything until it's like, we're waiting for the owner to come. And I guess you were busy after the past couple of days. But it's another tricky river, so we'll be going. Oh, God. <laughs> we should have taken that ferry slash bridge. 
It horrifies me every time I witness an accident like that. But we must learn from our mistakes to avoid similar incidents in the future. Yeah, and you can see there's that toll bridge in the background. It's a way of saying, well, you should have taken that bridge. Almost drowned. Who almost drowned? We should rest a bit before moving on. Well, has taken a turn for the worse. Rivers like this are nothing to trifle with. Folks should be more careful. Coughing, difficulty, brain disorientation, weakness. Man, that was some really bad drowning. Just don't go back in the water, okay? Because <laughs> every time I think it's like, okay, person near drown, and then soon after, take a turn for the worse from almost drown. It's almost like, I don't know, trauma's taking over. He's like, no, I must get back in. <laughs> and then all that. <laughs> oh, for the love of God, get moving. Oh, no, not again. If we all pitch in, we can clear a path through these rocks in just a few hours. Let's get our tools. If we have any tools. Okay, we can't go over the obstruction. It'll probably take us a day or two to clear those rocks out of our way. But I don't think we have much choice. Let's get to work on it. <sighs> Let's try to find another path. Any other advice? There must be another path we can take. We tried to find one. We couldn't find any. Son of a bitch! I'll be right pleased to pitch in and help you fix that wagon tongue. Help me fix it. And you suck! You know what? You suck ass. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little song here. Oh, he sucks ass. He sucks ass. This man sucks his ass. He sucks so much ass. He sucks ass. He sucks ass. Yes, that guy sucks so much ass. He sucks so much ass. Yep, yep, yep. The guy sucks so much ass. Yes, that was in a tune of Camp Town Races. They say this place is called Rattlesnake Pass. I don't rightly know much about it, except its name. But I figure there's got to be rattlers about with a name like that. Any advice? Yeah, watch where you step. Yeah, watch your step. Look out, there's a snake on the ground. Had you fooled. Deep Creek. How deep is it? That ain't no creek. That's a river. What you doing there? I'm taking a bit of time for washing clothes while the men take the wagons and animals over. Wash day don't come as regular as it did back home. The water's always a heap cleaner upstream from the crossing. The animals stir up the bottom something awful. I suggest you take a bath and do some laundry while you have a chance. We've been on the trail long enough to collect a good garden's worth of dirt on our clothes alone. Oh, I'll tell you who had a good soaking. That person. <laughs> so close. Pass through Little Raft River. Salt Lake Cutoff Junction. Which way is west? Good question. We should head west to California. Well, west it is. California Trail. We're not going to California exactly. Granite Mountain, Granite Mountain Pass. God damn it! If you don't have a spare wheel, maybe you can trade with somebody for one. You couldn't fix that either. We suck. I suck ass, I suck ass, I suck some. <laughs> Calm down, man. You are having too much fun at your own expense of others. It kind of reminds me of that guy who, whose predictions are always right. Like say, hey, I told you we'll get to this river by the 4th of July, and the guy's prediction is right. And he's going to make a prediction right now. That guy's going to say, we're going to pour through this river. We're going to pour through this river and we're going to make it. You see, the guy's prediction is right again. <laughs> Until he gets so boisterous. And then he'll say, there's going to be dust in the wagons. Or something along those lines. Damn it! 
If you lighten your wagon load, you may be able to pull your way out. Well, despite all this, our morale's very high. Oh, I remembered something else of what else I gotta say. You know what's the... Actually, there's two TV shows that I've been watching. That's the first time for me that I'm watching on, on a daily and weekly basis. One daily, one weekly. One is Razia Sultan, which is an Indian TV series, Hindi language. And the other is an English language, not Indian, American series. Which I'm like, I've heard about this plenty of times, and I thought, well, I think a guy like Lord Massa should get into it. And I am. I've been watching The Sopranos for the first time in my life. Really enjoying it so far. It takes a while to get to know everybody and all that. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can't go more into detail about the series because I haven't watched it all yet. I'm still on season one and all that. Personally, I wouldn't mind stopping for a while, but then again, I'd rather be traveling in the heat than freezing in the winter snows. Did you shave your mustache? <laughs> well, since you're in this region, I think you hardly find anything to hunt out here, to be quite honest. Hang on, hang on. Dropped him like a sack of feed. I'd be scary as hell if a mountain lion does come here at this part of the country. Oh wow, a set of clothing in a trading post. No bullets, no guns, but gunpowder. But don't go shooting willy nilly, you ain't got much gunpowder as you're used to. No, damn it! Go that way! God blast it! <laughs> Turn around, you stupid idiot! Gather the hay for your animals. They tell you that your animals could survive or last longer while out in the desert. That's common knowledge. You. Oh, no, 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 no. Peg leg smooth? You take the floor. You're supposed to get the hay before you cross the desert, you idiot! Thank you for your input. Okay, let's go to, uh... Where the fuck are we going? Oh, okay, okay, turn around, turn around. This, this, this is the way. This is the way. I've only seen Season 1 of The Mandalorian, haven't found the time to watch Season 2 of The Mandalorian. I'll get to that eventually as well. So yes, believe it or not, Lord Mass has got time for television. Howdy. My pa says we're getting ready to go through a desert. <sighs> yeah. I'm scared. I've heard stories about people dying of thirst in deserts. Hope we have enough canteens of water kegs after all that Tom Fleury back there. I wish we wasn't going. Maybe you can talk to the other grown-ups, get them to change their minds. Well, I tried that because we kept turning around. The only time we ever get to change their minds, son, is if they forgot to get some hay. Or even buy some hay from that trading post, if they even sell hay. But I ain't got time for that anymore. But let me tell you something. If I were to ask your father to say, it's like, hey, is it, and then he'll be one of those grouchy type, he'll be like, hey, Earl Drummond, get out of here. Don't tell me what to do. I'm pissed off. I'm a pissed off tree. <laughs> well, uh, it, but seriously, that guy looked like a mid-30s college dropout, despite his gruffiness. I mean, the man is so... The guy, the guy is... Man. He's got issues. <laughs> the man could walk through the cemetery and people will be pissed off. That's how he is. But well, we're traveling by day. Because the temperature is good. Foggy you desert. You gotta consider the terrain. If there's anything dangerous up ahead, like narrow canyon trails, we should stop until this fog clears up. Narrow canyon trails out in the desert? Well, all that fog has been replaced to a dust storm. Pahut Peak, or is it Paiute? 
My dead burned wagon wheel broke a ways back and took me pretty near all day to find someone willing to trade me for a new one. A heap of trouble, this. Fella sold me some green wood of some darn softwood tree for wagon wheels. I knowed I should have brought my own hardwood from home, but no, my partner had to have that fine store-made stuff out of St. Louis. Mm. Make no bones about refusing deals if and they don't sound right to you. They's just a bunch of leeches on us poor immigrants. Make it yourself, or buy it off another traveler. Or... Or trade them. Well, yeah, I just need a little more gunpowder. I am asking to get myself shot, am I? No, 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 you still have the sheaf. You may want to check that on your supplies next time. Headshot. You shouldn't be shooting up the mountains. You may never know mountain lions live out there. Conquer. Let me see. Not again! There must be another path we can take. Hmm. Maybe if we wait here, another wagon train with more people will come along to help us clear a path. <sighs> Seriously, these fallen rocks, they could create quite a problems. And I've had quite a problems myself. Son of a... It'll probably take us a day or two to clear those rocks out of our way. But I don't think we have much choice. Let's get to work on it. We cleared it again and we didn't break a part of the wagon while working on it. Which is always good. Alkali Lake. Alkali. They just warned me about red leaves. Oh god, Kurt Warner Mountains. Reference of a football player. Willow Creek. Goose Lake. What are we doing wasting time picking wild vegetables? For eats. That's why. Only very rarely you get food poisoning from picking up such things. characters regarding the areas. You s I mean, when you hear music like this, that means you are close to the very end. But you know, this is the kind of music where it makes you feel like you're at a war. You're we're like, hold the line, men! We're the last line of defense! It's the Battle of the Bulge, and it's up to us to hold the Greek hordes off the Pacific Fleet! <laughs> down here. Hey! Jackass! Wake up! Oh, gosh darn it, you startled me. But I reckon I ought not to be falling asleep like that. It's risky. So, you want to go across on the ferry? Well, maybe. How much is it? I charge a mere one dollar to cross. Well, you have any advice? These mountains up ahead. Road gets right rough. You take it easy. Let's go back to sleep. Okay, just this once. What's so special about a fairy? Sick you mountains. They will sick you out. They see sick you out. Son of a bitch! I knew we shouldn't have been going so fast through this kind of terrain. What do you think you are? The bull of the woods? It horrifies me. Man predicts. This guy predicts that we're gonna get through. I knew we shouldn't have been. <laughs> Son of a beeswax. Yeah, I like how we're using rope for. These plants are giants. <laughs> Giant plants. <laughs> You see, 
compare that to, you know, man, everybody's here. All the characters are here, that's what it feels like. Every single character. Or have we just gone on a loop twice, or, or am I being crazy? Yeah, clearly I'm crazy. Hang on. Where is that guy? I saw him earlier. Where is it? So I could... I mean, I saw him. You know who I'm talking about. You know the guy that I imitate sometimes? There you are! Maybe, Maybe we, we could, could set, set up a windlass, windlass and use, and some, use some ropes, ropes to lower our wagons, wagons down, down the hill gradually. gradually. How did I know he was going to say that? Wait a minute, what if all these characters do to... Again. Giant plants compared to these humans. What kind of land is this? What kind of land is this? <laughs> Come on, let's go. You've reached Jacksonville. Well... The guys who predict that we'll be there before Christmas is always right. He's gonna be bragging so much he's gonna be like, Look at these shoes! Look at these shoes! And then he tap dances on the table. He's like, see? I told you we were gonna get there. Woo! We made it. And nobody died despite minor incidents and all that. <clears throat> I mean, we could have made it more difficult than all that, but still. I had a pretty good time. And boy, we killed a lot of animals in this trail. And you have not been mauled by a bear or a mountain lion or shot yourself. Nobody got malaria, nobody got lockjaw, nobody got struck by lightning, nobody went missing, none of the supplies got stolen. I don't know why we felt like this was going to be the hardest trail ever, but no, it was very easy. You just made it hard on yourself. And two instances where you cocked a wagon on a low depth river and you got it stuck on purpose because you're a dummy <sighs> okay let's stick the land claim here holy sh 819 acres stone of crows everybody's good health we had little cash to spare Got a wagon, got the draft animals. Mm -hmm. And as a saddle maker, well, I could tell you this already. I'm gonna be right there. But anyways, what lies ahead for Earl Thomas Drummond? Earl Drummond settled in the Rogue River Valley of Oregon in 1854, building a home on 819 acres of land. After several years of only moderate success on the farm, Earl Drummond decided to move to a growing population in Medford, establishing a small business that proved more stable and satisfying. Unfortunately, several of Herman Drummond's sons, including a major figure in the 20th century government, and business scandal managed to tarnish the family's good name. Yep, that sounds like me. That sounds like something my descendants would be doing. Well, time to go. Hmm. Well, you can't hunt here because this is a city. If I had my way, I would have done it. Hey, you still got that anvil? No, we don't have it anymore. Guess we lost it during the tip overs. Oh well. <laughs> I was gonna dump that anvil just to make a statement or whatever, but I guess we're not gonna get that luxury now, now do we? So, all I can say is, is that this trail was, for at least for Earl Drummond, the saddle maker. Huh. That's about as stimulating as oatmeal with nothing on it. Yeah. But hey, it's been the Oregon Trail too. And I'm sure next time it'll be a lot more exciting and hopefully a lot more deaf because, well, actually... Wait till October for the Oregon Trail come Halloween. The other, you know, trail video that I like to do at that time. Where, who knows what I'll be doing on that future trail video. 
And of course, the next Orga Trail video will be coming in December, as I do it once in every three months. And, uh, well, let me tell you, I posted this video on September 11th, which is my birthday, which I am 29 years old now. Not to mention clean shaven. But boy, ladies, if you are watching this, ladies, if you are watching this video the whole time, it's hell to be handsome. I can tell you that already. Yeah, you casting over you. But, man. Again, no need to go long now. You've already said your piece of all the things that you've said. So, so all I can say is, for the Lord Master channel, we hope you've enjoyed this um, particular organ trio video and all that. And maybe we'll do better next time. Well, when I say do better next time, I'm not talking about get up and beat Nasty Jack Finley's list of legends. Or do something silly like, say, you start at St. Joseph, and then you decide to go independence. And then you go on this way, you take the long way around, and then you go through there, all the way back to Nubu, and then there and back again, through Salt Lake City, through Sacramento, through Jacksonville, and then through Oregon City. That would be like a two-hour-plus video if you were to try to... It could be done, but I can't guarantee everything, but there is a way to pick up a piece something like that. I think that might be my next idea for the Oregon Trail. Go to all the starting areas and all the... all the such things in... <laughs> my god. I think that would be the most epic thing that I would ever do. And honestly, going through all these paths, there and back again. Yes, there and back again. Uh, uh, which I believe that was a novel written by Double Baggins. But anyways, we hope you people enjoyed this um, episode of the Order Kill 2 video. We'll see you in the next one. But until then, so long for now.